Hello. This year, the Pennsylvania Leadership Conference is moving from Eventbrite to Cvent for our registration platform. Today, I want to walk you through step by step the process and how it's changed. My goal in this is to help you through the registration process, but if you do come across any questions, please feel free to email us at plcregister at gmail.com. And I'll provide that email address in the notes as well. So first and foremost, you'll see there is a brand new page that is going to be set up for the registration process. If presented with this screen, we're going to click register now. And you are going to choose the attendee registration type. If you are one of our sponsors, you can choose sponsors. There will be another video that walks you through that. But for the vast majority for this video here, we're the attendee and we're going to click next. You will observe it is a five step process. So we're going to start with the type of registration, move to personal information, the admission item, registration, and then payment page. So as I go through, I can complete the details. Filling in email address, some other information. That's not an email address I use very often. You will need your address city, state, we're not in Ohio, we're in Pennsylvania, and then zip code. If you insert the company title information, that will be printed on your badge upon registration, otherwise you can leave those blank. One thing you're probably used to with Pennsylvania Leadership Conference is that we give a discount when you register two people at the same time. Double registration has been moved to here. So double registration, we can come in and we can add that second registration. So say I'm going to register Kelly. I can add her, add her email address as well. You don't have to put the address unless the address is different. And same thing with company and title. If that information is wanted to be printed on the badge, it can be added here. I'm going to go ahead and add that information. And then I'm going to hit next. Now you can see your registration items. Again, this is different than it was in years previously. First and foremost, you will see there's no double registration. We simply have the standard registration, the standard registration with the pre-dinner reception, student registration, and the student registration with pre-dinner. Now what you will see is you'll see the capability of selecting attendees. So say both Kelly and myself want to go to the pre-dinner rece reception, I'm going to be able to come in here and I can see the two prices. Now the reason the prices here are different is we've given that discount to the second person for the total price difference or the or the price the price discount that typically you got when you did a double registration. If I hit cancel, we could see the same thing. 120 for the first, 100 for the second person. Normally, in years past, that would just be 110 and 110. So I'm going to register both Kelly and I with the pre-dinner receptions. I'm going to hit confirm. If you would like to leave a donation for the Leadership Conference Student Scholarship Fund, you can do that here in any amount from $1 up. I'm going to put in here just $25 just to show what that looks like. And then you have your registration summary. I can see the donation of $25, my admission item. I can see the admission item here for Kelly as well. I can hit next. And it brings me to the payment page. Previously, to utilize or receive the early bird discount, we had a discount code. The discount pricing is built in already. So if you register before February 1st, you will receive that early bird discount automatically in the pricing above. So there's no more need for a discount code on this page. We do have to process, there is a service fee for credit cards, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, Diners Club, other payment processors. There is a $15 service fee that covers our processing costs, the overall cost and exchanges of running that credit card services or the merchant service. So if we come down here, credit card. I can fill out my credit card information here and I'm going to use a Discover card. And this is not a real Discover card number so it does not matter. So we're just going to say it's 1225 security code 123. We're going to say it's uh, the 
Let's do Scott Davis. He's in the USA. Same things you would expect to put in on anywhere that you're processing a credit card payment. And then press submit. It's now going to go through, it's going to process that credit card, or in this case, the test credit card. Gives you that little green check mark. Then it's gonna give you congratulations, you are now registered, your confirmation code. You will also receive an email with those registration details below. And then down below you can see, we'll see in how many days, and you can modify or even cancel the registration right through the website. Again, 2023 is going to be a great year for the Pennsylvania Leadership Conference. Looking forward to seeing you there. If you do, again, if you have additional questions on the registration platform, please let us know, plcregister at gmail.com. Thanks.